weird monsters, the biggest treasure trove known to man, and a discovery at the bottom of the sea that will disgust you. All this and more coming up. Brilliant news! Number 1. Morphing Monster in 2018, Doug West was working in the Gulf of Mexico when he captured this strange creature on his camera. It was nothing like he'd seen before. The creature moves gracefully through the water and then suddenly changes color and sheds its tail, growing two wing-like extremities in less than a second. Although Doug says it's definitely not an octopus, no one is really sure what it is or whether its sudden shape change was something similar to a snake shedding its skin or whether it can morph however and whenever it wants to. The second option is by far the scariest, but perhaps the most worrying thing about this discovery is that it shows us just how little we know about our oceans. In fact, scientists estimate that a whopping 91% of ocean species have yet to be classified. Number 2. Deep Sea Hunter The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration were inspecting an oil tank 1,730 feet underwater. That's about 650 feet below the world's scuba diving record. Their camera picked up some strange footage when a group of fish swims by and one gets harpooned. As I said before, this is below the depth scuba divers can reach. So who or what fired the harpoon? As we continue to watch, we see an odd shape flash by and catch the fish. We still don't know what type of fish this could be, or indeed whether it was a fish at all. Some claim it was a mermaid using a spear or harpoon. Whatever it is, the speed and brutality of the attack are enough to send shivers up your spine. If you're enjoying this video, please give us a like. Hooray! Number 3. San Jose Galleon the San Jose Galleon was sunk along with a crew of almost 600 in 1708. The ship was part of the Spanish treasure fleet and is estimated to contain gold, silver and emeralds with a value of $15 billion. In 2015, using a Remus 6000 autonomous underwater vehicle, the Colombian Navy found the shipwreck in a location that has been declared a state secret under over 1,000 feet of water. This depth of water makes salvage the ship a complicated and costly process. Colombia lacks the technology and the know-how to salvage the San Jose, but refuses to share the spoils with a private contractor and refuses to sell any part of the ship or its contents. The scary thing is that this inflexibility means that no one benefits. The San Jose, the biggest sunken treasure trove known to man, full of historic and cultural interest, will remain unstudied, its secrets and treasures left to decay under 1,000 feet of water. Number 4 by Mini Road in 1968, Jacques Mayol and two friends were diving at a depth of 18 feet off the northwest coast of the North Baimini Island when they found a half-mile stretch of paved road, small rectangular blocks and massive 12-foot limestone slabs. Numerous geologists, archaeologists, anthropologists and marine engineers have visited the site and still can't be sure who or what made this road. They also can't be sure of how old it is. Different dating methods have been used and they say it's between 3,000 and 15,000 years old. Is it some strange natural occurrence or is it a man-made road or dock? 15,000 years ago we were domesticating pigs. Could we really build something like this? And if we didn't, who did? 5. 6,000 fathoms under the sea the black sea devil, the fang-toothed fish, and the goblin shark are some pretty creepy fish that live deep down in our oceans. And thanks to deep sea gigantism, it seems that the deeper we go, the scarier they get. This is made scarier still when you remember we've only discovered 9% of the species that live in the ocean. So considering the Mariana Trench is the deepest part of our oceans, you'd expect to find some pretty scary stuff down there. And they did. Since being found Found in 1875 by the Challenger expedition, only four manned submarines have reached the bottom of the Mariana Trench. But it was the 2019 descent by Victor Vescovo that found the scariest thing. Once he reached the bottom, 35,853 feet down, he saw arrow-tooth eels, cusk eels with transparent heads, grenadier fish and snail fish. But the scariest thing he found wasn't a living being and was only really scary because of 
what it implies. He found a plastic bag and sweet wrappers. If a 15 foot by 6 foot by 12 foot two man submarine can drop down to a random spot in the deepest part of the ocean and find a plastic bag, just how much plastic have we thrown into our oceans? And just how long have we got before we bury ourselves in our own trash? Did this last one upset you? Comment below and please subscribe, it really helps.